Hi guys. So this is kind of a different video. This is something that I really wanted to do. And unfortunately, because my health has not been allowing me to, I couldn't take the time to sit down and, and think clearly enough to share some thoughts with you um, about pride, um, about what happened in Orlando, about being queer, about identifying as a lesbian. Um, many of my subscribers already know that I am a lesbian. I am engaged to my partner, Colleen, who is also a lesbian, which is kind of important that we're both lesbians. Well, you know, one of us could be bisexual, technically, and still we'd be together. So, you know, I guess it's not as funny as you think, you know, whenever I make the little joke. Enough of the jokes. Because this is a serious subject. Um, in June, we celebrated Pride. June is traditionally the month of Pride. Something that happened this June was a horrific shooting at the Pulse nightclub where many of my brothers and sisters were shot to death. Were where they spent their last few moments fearing death before they died. The horrific events that occurred at Pulse nightclub, it's just awful. I had a lot of strong feelings after it happened and I was afraid. Pittsburgh Pride, our pride, was actually the next day um, the Orlando shooting happened the night of my best friend, Melanie, and her partner's, um, wedding. Melanie and Britton's wedding. And, um, the next day was our pride. And because of a lot of my health reasons, I wasn't really able to go to pride for very long. But the hour or so that I was there, I was scared. And I didn't talk about it to my friends, but I, I was afraid to be there um, because of what had happened. Um, and I think that there were probably a lot of pride celebrations where people were afraid. I want to read something to you guys. Um, I have a wonderful family in general. Um, but I have one cousin in particular, and she is someone who I would choose as a friend even if we didn't have the same blood or, or even if our our parents uh, my mother and her father weren't siblings um, I would choose her as a friend because she's a genuinely amazing person who I'm extremely proud of um, I'm proud of her career accomplishments I'm proud of her life accomplishments I'm proud of what I good human being she is. I feel privileged to have watched her grown into the beautiful woman that she is. Um, she just got engaged and soon I will be able to go to her wedding and I'm so looking forward to that day. But I want to show you what kind of a person she is. A few days after the Orlando shooting, she sent me a card. Um, the, the outside of the card says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Beautiful as it is, the words inside of this card are even more beautiful. I'll read it to you. Um, it won't take long, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. Dear Sally, I just wanted to take a quick second to let you know that I love you and that I love and cherish every authentic and beautiful contribution you add to the world. I will never comprehend the hate that led to the attack in Orlando. It makes zero sense to me. The LGBT community is inclusive, joyful, and brave. Despite my heterosexuality, I've always felt welcome. How beautiful is that? 
Society is better because of the authenticity of those LGBT brothers and sisters. They should never, ever feel scared. Sally, you are a brave and inspiring person. You make people feel special and loved. You make people, you make people feel special and loved, Jeannie. So maybe you get that from me. You make the LGBT, LGBT community proud by this amazing spirit of yours. I love you and will always, and, and I'm always here for you. Love to, to you and Colleen Jeannie, XXXOO. I signed a lot of my things with XXXOO too, Jeannie. I love you, Jeannie, thank you. And I love you guys for um, listening to that and allowing me to share a little bit of my life with you. Um, what are your thoughts about what happened in Orlando? What are your thoughts about the homosexual uh, community? Um, you know, I am a Christian and I am gay. Um, and I don't feel like that's a conflict of interest. <laughs> um, I don't. It took me a while to, to wrangle with that um, because I actually came out as Christian after I came out as gay. I became Christian and um, God loves me and God loves each and every one of you, gay, straight, queer, bisexual, transgendered. God loves us all. He even likes straight people. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you around. Bye.